This 32-year-old healthy and non-smoking female was referred to the clinic with a hopeless lateral incisor in the aesthetic zone. Tooth number 1, 2 has internal root resorption and needs to be removed. A small fistula is visible in the gingiva at the distal side of the tooth. The periapical radiograph demonstrates a radiolucent area inside the root. The bone crest level on the mesial side is excellent, whereas the distal crest level is slightly reduced due to a local inflammatory process in the area of the root resorption. The patient has high aesthetic demands and presents with several high-risk factors such as a high smile line, a thin soft tissue phenotype, and teeth with a triangular shape. The three-dimensional cone beam CT shows the root resorption and the bone defect on the distal aspect of the lateral incisor. The orofacial sections demonstrate the extension of the root resorption and a thin facial bone wall in the crestal area measuring less than one millimeter in thickness. According to the SAC classification and aesthetic risk assessment of the ITI, this patient is an advanced case with medium risk. It is decided to treat the patient with early implant placement after extraction. The tooth is extracted without flap elevation using a careful low trauma technique with application of rotational force. The extracted tooth confirms the root resorption. The post-extraction healing is progressing well, with the typical stages of socket healing. At six weeks, the soft tissue healing is completed. In the mid-facial area, a slight ridge flattening is visible, but not at the approximal areas of both adjacent teeth.